it bothers me to know now from the uninterview that Steve Stout collectively with some others and Jay-Z deliberately uh, played the powers that be and blocked Dane from the industry. According to Lance and Rivera, so I, I don't I don't have to say allegedly because Lance said that, you know, now yeah, you can legally take that up with him. Right? That's the statement he gave in the, on the Vlad interrogation new platform. <laughs> he went on the first 48 and gave that statement, right? So it, it, it is bothering me on several levels that Steve Stout, who did not work at Rockefeller, probably was Jay's friend or whatever, but this nigga ran over there with Nas and Trackmasters and everything. And fucking Trackmasters been blocking my ass for the longest. Rich, nice, punk ass. Uh, that sucker ass nigga done blocked me several times. And he's connected to Steve South. So I'm, and, and, and now it, it all makes sense to why Rich, a nigga from my projects, it's sitting there blocking me, and I never even did nothing to this fucking chunk, right? But now I can see with Steve Stout and and, and Trackmasters and everything, and they, and they hold connection now, and then my connection with Dane, like now is a lot of shit is making more sense. Now it's making more sense. Because everybody that was close to Dane had it harder on moving forward in the industry. Like they was making sure Dane had no ways in and none of his people came up. And the and the ones that was sucking Jay off or Jay had a, 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 a interest in, he took those employees and brought them over to Rock Nation. Or what became Rock Nation? Dane trained all of these people, even myself in business in some aspects. You know what I'm saying? As I, I taught him shit in in video production, right? But we all was a school together under one office, under one under one principal. Dane was the principal or the coach. He was Phil Jackson. Um, better yet, let's say uh Yeah, what's the uh what's the other coach name? What's the coach uh God is on the tip of my tongue. Not Phil Jackson. Who was the coach in New York that went to Miami and got championships? Is it Patrick something? Where, where, what's the uh, coach, man? Oh, man, that was in New York. Pat Rowley, right. Dane was Pat Rowley, right? Metaphorically speaking, and we was the Knicks in, in Rockefeller. I'm talking the interns that's now president of Rock Nation. If the if an intern is the president, uh, the intern that was at Rockefeller that worked under Dames, aka Pat Riley's coaching, if that intern was a a, a, a bench player, and now is the fucking the point guard for the motherfucking Rock Nations, and Dame was the motherfucking coach, these motherfucking Jay is motherfucking uh, goddamn Boston and went and recruited all the motherfucking Knicks players and took them up to Boston or down, took them down to fucking Miami, right? Fucking Dame is Pat Riley, right? He in New York, 
building this team. And here comes Steve Stout, fucking the commissioner, ironically, right? And get this nigga out of New York. Yo, get him out the game. And so and then this nigga go down and take and go down to Miami and shit and leave. And go down there and become a fucking championship when the Knicks could have won a championship with the nigga. But this nigga Stout, NJ, they fucking just for money, bro. For money. For fucking money, bro. That that that's the shit that got me pissed off. Cause when I was in the streets, I was I had a I'm uh you know what. I have friends or former friends that wanted to take me out just for a bigger piece of the pie, right? Not because I did something to somebody or nothing like that. Niggas want more money from, from the pie. So the pie is getting split, cut up a, a whole bunch of ways, right? So let's get rid of this nigga so we can split a more bigger piece of the pie. So we can have an extra piece of the pie for ourselves. Right? And this motherfuckers that I would have died for. Same thing with Dane. Nigga would have died for Jay. So if you listen to what Un said, Un was brought in because they needed Un to get rid of Dane. So Jay could go solo and and have and blow up and, and be the the be, the be the man without Dane, right? This is what Un is saying. So my thing is Un is the street nigga. What y'all was bringing Un in this shit for? Like y'all was going to handle that on some street shit and get Dame out of here? Like what, what was your, what was, why did y'all bring Un in? Who, if from him talking in his interviews, like he's the goon, he's the street nigga. Now y'all want to bring him in the boardroom to figure out how to get rid of Dame, or was y'all going to get rid of Dame on some street shit? However, it don't matter. Y'all did it, and y'all collectively did it, and the world was able to see it. When me and Dame came in that conference room, y'all was busted. That was torturous interference right there alone. You got the whole Def Jam staff having a meeting about a Jay-Z album. He signed the Rockefeller. Ain't nobody from Rockefeller in that fucking conference room. Even Shaka was with us. We all saw y'all the night before at Barbara Law's funeral, Jay-Z, Kevin Lyles. All y'all was at the funeral. I seen y'all my goddamn self. Nobody said nothing. The whole Def Jam said nobody said nothing to Dame about no goddamn meeting. So to, do, to come back, I mean, to today here is Stout and Jay, and y'all was having meetings back then to figure out how to get rid of Dane. And then I'm never gonna forget y'all did that, that y'all did that shit in the newspaper. Y'all put a, so a the shit on the on the cover about Dane and Jay breaking up. And then y'all had a page six story, which is fucking uh PR. That, that dame had raped that girl overseas. I remember that. Because we was in the office that in Rockaway, in the Rockaway office that day, that morning, with Dame lawyers and, and everybody. Dame wouldn't even talk to nobody because it was so much press. He would only talk to me and uh maybe Biggs and shit. But I remember that shit. That shit was connected. Front page story, some rape shit, and then 
or you and Day, Day, Jay and Dame breaking up. And then right in the page six, the same fucking article was the story about Dame, uh, the breakup or whatever, or the rape shit. It, 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 they both was, all that shit was strategic. It was all strategic. Now, when I look back, at, at, at hindsight is 2020. All that shit was strategic. And I even talked about that before. And it's like, yo, to see un like snicker and laugh that that was the plan to get rid of Dame. Like they was having meetings and everything. Yo, y'all was successful and get rid of Dame. You know, but like I said, think about this. The intern, Shari Bryant, that worked with us, right? Under Dame's coaching, right? She's the president of Rock Nation right now. If she made it from intern to the president of Rock Nation, under Dame's teaching, right? Where the fuck would Dame be at right now? If she made it from intern to president of Rock Nation, where do you think Dame would be at right now with no resistance and, and, and being able to still uh, help the artists? Like, yo, Steve Sal, y'all, y'all fucked up our shit, bro. We was on the top of our game. We had the, we had the strongest team. And we all trying to figure out what the fuck is wrong with Jay, bro. What is going on? State property was super strong. Dipset was strong. Bleak, Bleak probably would still have a career. Kanye was strong, growing. All that shit got fucked up because he's Stout and 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 Jay and 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 Un and I'm you know putting this whole plan together to get Dame out the game. Y'all fucked up our shit. Everybody else below that, below Dame. Cause what happened when when the young guns went with when they isolated Dame out the game? They ain't let him do the Dame Dash music group. They talking about they was gonna give him his own label and everything. They got him right out to be. Jay tricked him out of signing out his uh signing uh, selling off his third of Rockefeller, right? Which he actually he he still owns a third right now, Biggs and so his, but he tricked him out of uh selling uh Rockefeller, right? Yo, I don't want to do this no more. First he said, Yo, get rid of Biggs. He first it was yo get rid of Biggs. He wanted to get rid of Biggs first, and, and Dane was like nah whatever. Then I guess Stout and them was like yo man, we gonna get rid of Dane man. We you gonna be big man? You gonna be the biggest one? Woo, woo, woo. You got to think Big is dead, Pac is dead, and Jay still splitting his money three ways with the niggas that helped him from the beginning as he should be. He could have still been who he was going to be. It might have took a little longer. But, yo, y'all all put in that work together from the beginning. That shit is, yo, it hurt me because I've been that nigga. Where your, your peoples want to take you out just for a bigger piece of the pie. And then it hurt me for all the work that we put in. You know how many countries Dame and us ran around promoting Rockaway, promoting Rockefeller, making that shit bigger and bigger and bigger. Jay the only motherfucker that reaped the benefits from that shit. Jay, when we was running around overseas, Jay-Z ain't even never even been over there uh, running around since, like, as Rockefeller. Now when we was doing it, Not all the shit that we did, we was pumping that shit all around the world. You 
Nigga, I could I could have been president of fucking Rockefeller by now if all that bullshit didn't happen. Y'all niggas sabotage some some real fucking great shit. Beans was coming home from jail. And now oh, the whole team that he worked with his whole fucking career, he finally got all the legal shit behind him. And now he ready to come. He just dropped a fire ass album to be coming and shit. And they threw that out. He told them to wait. And now he come home and all this shit is fucked up. Everybody gone. Everybody dismantled. That nigga Beans would have been a, if he would have had the team, that nigga would have been out of here, out of here. He had the fucking, the, the state property cartoons and all that shit ready. Like that, that y'all niggas fucked up some some great shit, bro. Young Chris solo career. He was ready. He was up next. What the young guns do when they win with Jay? Flop. Why? Because they didn't have everybody in the office no more. They didn't have Dame there to fucking to be the motherfucking coach. I don't care how nice niggas is. If you ain't got no motherfucking coach to, to, to put the right five niggas in on at the right time of the game, nigga, y'all gonna get your ass bust. And that's what happened when they fucking all ran back to Jay. Yeah, y'all niggas we all ran back to Jay, but not with Pat Riley. Pat Riley gone now. Niggas took Pat Riley and went and got fucking some championships with LeBron and all these niggas. Look what look what Bleak career did. Nothing. Why? Because Bleak couldn't go to the to the team. We was a team. Y'all niggas dismantled the team. And the team was led by Dame's fucking coaching. No, no matter how he's he fucking talked, everybody didn't fucking uh go in the car and cry because the nigga was yelling and which other niggas just like, oh, that's Dame. Well, we got the message. This is what we gotta do. You do the rock the mic tour, you don't take no fucking body with you. You play, you take the young guns. And say you don't even do a fucking Rockefeller tour. You got fucking state property here. You got Dipset here. You go out with fucking Buster, Missy, Fifty, and Snoop. And you got you got the whole niggas is on fire. Dipset's on fire. State property's on fire. The fucking movies out. Why? Cause y'all niggas is over here figuring out how to get rid of fucking Dame. You let these fucking clown niggas convince you, Jay-Z, to fucking get rid of the fucking team. Break up the fucking team, bro. Nigga, we had the fucking strongest team at that point. Niggas jumping me and shit over fucking filming. Dumb shit. That shit was dumb shit, bro. That shit caused a wedge between the fucking company. And y'all did all that shit to get rid of Dame. Yo, my nigga, you could have said, yo, yo, Dame, we gonna split this with her, whatever. But you ain't had to get the nigga kicked out the building. You could have let the nigga out of company and, 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 and shit if you wanted to go your way. But God damn, my nigga. Y'all really sat there and planned all that shit? So many shit, me and this shit playing in the back of my head now. I remember they arguing with Leo when Jewel was hot. Like, yo, we got to drop this nigga. And niggas, he getting resistance. He don't know why. Now I know why. Y'all niggas was blocking everything, bro. 
nigga arguing with this nigga Leo about how high Jewels is. Y'all niggas was holding him back because of the whole camera on shit, bullshit. Everything fucking makes sense now, man. Me and Dame like, yo, what the fuck? Why are they like why are they giving resistance with you else? This nigga is hotter than no motherfucker, bro. This nigga is arguing with these niggas to drop this nigga. I could not, yo, my nigga. It all fucking makes sense now. Y'all, yo, Steve Stout, Jay Z, y'all niggas fucked up mad shit, bro. Y'all good. Bobby Dash, Dane's brother. He was the fucking uh, the radio uh, promoter for Rockefeller. This nigga had Jay Z records for like four albums, bro. He was well known in the goddamn radio promotion. He could have went on and worked at any other label. Dumb motherfucking niggas blocked his shit. That nigga Bobby could not fuck this nigga. Everybody at fucking station knew Bobby, bro. He had Jay Z records. That nigga could not go on and be a fucking radio promoter for no other fucking label. Why? Dumb niggas. To get rid of Dane. Big Face Gary. He was a fucking A and R. Big Face did all these fucking state property records. Fucking work like, and the only you tell me these niggas couldn't go to no other fucking labels. No, because they was fucking connected to Dane. These niggas blocked him. Me, myself, same shit. Only reason Jay never fucked with me is because of the fucking incident. I ain't never did shit to this. I never did shit to him. That incident was because of him and these niggas trying to get rid of Dane. But Shock is over there with Jay. Shari's over there with Jay. Lenny S is over there with Jay. And then they can't fuck, fuck with us. It's like a mommy daddy divorce. Those is our fucking brothers and sisters and they can't even fuck with us cause they fucking with a bitch ass daddy. You talk to you talk to your mother, kids. You 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 getting the fuck out of here. It, it, it's 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 awkward between us because we don't what you call it. We all work together tight with each other. But now when when they they split and then all that shit it's like motherfuckers got to stay separated because the information can't get out to the other side and all this dumb shit. So like Shari, like me and her brother grew up together. Her brother was my man. I'm always going to have love. Man, I I didn't got I didn't convinced her brother to buy her a car when she was asking for a car he went. I made him you know what I'm saying? We go back like that, like from uptown. Like it ain't just Rockefeller with her. You know what I'm saying? Rest in peace, uh, brother. You know what I'm saying? Bo. But it, it's just shit like that. It's like, yo, we worked with each other. We b helped bring these artists up together. You know what I'm saying? Long days, long hours, long weeks, long months. You know what I'm saying? Like it was a team to so to, to see these dudes finally reveal that they made a conscious collective effort to block they amount. They, they fucking, they, they ruined a bunch of us. Think where beans would be right now. Think where the young guns would be right now or the whole state property. 
Them niggas could have turned around and been Wu Tang. Dipset was having a hell of a run. We never even got a chance to get to the JR Riders and in, in, in the Hell Rails and them to like on in the in the in the in the Def Jam system. Them niggas was building crazy. 40 cal, all that. Mike Hughes, good looking. Not to mention Jay and, and Beyonce and you know what I'm saying? Like all that shit was a team. We had an ill team. A lot of ideas was was coming from a lot of different heads at, at one time. I gotta walk this motherfucker and get smoking a cigarette and shit. We was a team, a strong team. Arguments, fights, bullshit. But it, it nigga, I, that shit is very, 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 very upsetting, bro. To know that this, this was a plan. There was a plan. They sat there and planned to get rid of Dame, man. Block this nigga out intentionally. Leo even told me to my face on 23rd and 5th Avenue. Yeah, and I shut that motherfucker down. Yeah, you did. Along with some niggas, too. His own fucking people. The same nigga that nobody wanted to fucking sign. Nobody even wanted to sign you, Jay-Z. You couldn't even get a fucking deal, nigga. Niggas chipping y'all little street money and got you popping. They ain't ran around and terrorized niggas for you to fucking pop off. And you fucking get... So arrogant, so cocky, so infatuated with money. After all the streets you shit you survived by some fucking weird reason, you ain't never get pinched for some weird reason. But everybody around you that was hustling with you and hustling with your peoples, all them niggas all them got pinched. But your ass, yo, they ain't even got no fucking uh you on the wiretaps, and we know you was on phone calls. By the grace of motherfucking your God. All that shit, bro. Niggas ain't even want to sign you. And niggas did all that shit. And you gonna let a nigga like Steve Stout manipulate you and the fucking putting your man in, in fucking financial devastation. The one that the one person outside of Biggs that was willing to invest his money into your fucking career, bro. His time and effort. And you consciously, collectively, with some other niggas that ain't helped you from the beginning. Get some power and block your man like that. In turn, fucking up everybody else's shit as well. Did a lot of sucker shit too, bro. 
Niggas had Armadale, you go fucking do a Belvedere ad. Or Grey Goose. I don't know who the fuck it was. One of them shits. Yo, this nigga now, it, like, I'm thinking about all the fucking shit you did, bro. Y'all had your own fucking liquor, and you go do an ad with a motherfucking another liquor. You was doing some bullshit, yo. And now it all makes sense, man. The Mix Show Power Summit. We had our own fucking Rockefeller show. We had our own fucking Rockefeller show, yo, at the Mix Show Power Summit. Everybody on Rockefeller, Kanye, Dipset, State Property, Bleak, everybody. This nigga Jay-Z comes the next to the, the, the fucking, our show was, the whole Rockefeller day was Saturday. Jay-Z show up on Friday and perform for fucking Def Jam, bro. And leaves. We like, yo, what the fuck? We all live. Rock, we the whole Rockefeller team. Here come our motherfucking, our fuckers, uh, Allen Iverson. We the 76ers. Here come Iverson and shit. And this nigga got on the Lakers jersey. Like, what the fuck? On everything. This nigga fucking perform for Def Jam, bro. And Rockefeller had their own show. All the other labels had their own fucking... Everybody had their own team. This motherfucking Jay-Z came and fucking performed for Def Jam, bro. And left. Did not do... He didn't even stay for the Rockefeller day. Motherfucker. All that shit makes sense now, man. All that shit makes sense now. Mike Kaiser, all y'all motherfuckers. Yeah, y'all probably was a part of it too, bro. Kaiser, you was with him that day. He came to perform for Def Jam. Kaiser, you fucking was on the, you cat off the helicopter with him. It was just me, you, Jay, and motherfucking Tata, and, and John Manili. It was just us four up at that helicopter port, and then me, Jay, and Tata down in Jay's room. You know that shit was wrong, nigga. You worked for Def Jam. How the fuck they Jay Z? And you the motherfucking rep for Def Jam, Kaiser, or was at that time. How the fuck is Jay-Z performing for y'all niggas and he us? All that shit makes sense now, man. They need to let me do the Rockefeller movie. Because you ain't going to get all this truth. These niggas going to come up with some bullshit. I'm going to have to do my own unauthorized fucking movie. Because this is some bullshit, bro. The truth is better than they, them lies they talking. Now I remember when we was at the MTV Awards. We at the red carpet, Jay-Z go through the back and do an interview with, with uh, somebody in the back. And we sitting on the carpet waiting for this nigga. And, and so Dame, I guess Dame wanted to do some, get some photos with him, with, with the artist and shit. That nigga go through the back. Somebody gave him, oh, I know who gave him the heads up. Motherfucker that was with us. Uh, uh. Gabe. I bet you. That nigga went right through the back. And we see him and Bleak on the monitor. 
And that day he said something contradictory to, to, to uh, Rockefeller that Dane was tight with. We at Rockefeller Radio on Power 105.1 and on XM Radio. We was the first hip hop radio show on XM Radio. The first, don't front on us. And I had that shit airing on, on, on uh, the website looking just like the Breakfast Club and that shit is fucking 20 years ago. Shit they, they doing, I was doing 20 years ago. We had a whole radio station, a whole radio show, two of them on Power, every on Sunday nights, and then on XM Radio. Jay-Z ain't come to the fucking radio show one time. Every artist in the goddamn industry came up there. Every artist on Rockefeller. Jay-Z never came to rock radio at Power or on, on XM. He did all that shit was intentional. All of it was intentional. All that shit makes sense now, Look, listening to this uninterview. How did Jay-Z not come to Rockefeller Radio? Anything that was going to help the labels succeed, this nigga was not fucking with it. Y'all niggas fucked up a good shit, a good thing. Y'all didn't have to shut Dame all the way out. And I ain't, like, I know I sound crazy defending Dame for all the shit that he did, but Dame, without Dame being able to be in the game, a lot of us suffered from that shit. Them doing all that fuck shit to Dame made a lot of us suffer. Especially like people like Beanie Siegel. Jay was not in the office. Jay don't know how to run no goddamn office. He don't know how to run no team like Dame do. That's why he took off Dame's fucking players. He recruited all Dame players and made the fucking Chicago Bulls. That shit got me a little tight. Freeway would be bigger. Nigga, we had the team. We had the fucking formula. And we were still learning at that time. But at the time, when them niggas came, look, if Jay-Z is a billionaire, fake-ass billionaire, well, what, do, what do you think Dame would be right now? Dame would be a trillionaire. Jay ain't want to flip no money. He wanted to use all the other people, the company's money. That nigga just want to take checks from people. He ain't flipping his own money. He just licensing out his name. This nigga, they ain't want to cr create more companies, more brands, do more shit, employ more people. That nigga Jay was worried about his fucking self. Think about all the people we blocked. Listen to the stories, yo. Anybody he felt like he could do, get more money than him, he fucking blocked them. Anybody connected to somebody that was somebody that was getting some money or trying to get some money, block them. Powers that be. The powers that block. The bees for block. Shit, that sound like the Texas chainsaw. It's a nigga out here with a chainsaw, y'all. Y'all hear him? He got on a leather mask. Can I help you, sir? <laughs> Yo.
that Mav Hoffa interview with Dame ain't classic. That's just a bunch of bullshit. That's a bunch of Dame dick licking motherfucking uh, Lou Sims and and the Dan you nigga acting like he grew up with them niggas. He didn't. Y'all been watching Dane for 30 years. Y'all know who he said his friends are. Y'all know the people he said he grew up around. Y'all tell me 30 years later is a whole different story? Come on, man. Y'all got to stop being fans and start paying a little more attention. Stop that bullshit. Stop that bullshit. Y'all got magazines with Dame interviews. Y'all done seen backstage. Y'all done seen everything. When did these niggas was ever in the story? Stop. The nigga told you he gave you paid in full. Where is them niggas at in paid in full? Come on, man. Y'all niggas are like, stop with the bullshit, man. I got love for Dame for a lot of reasons. But not when it come to capping. Y'all motherfuckers don't question nothing, do y'all? You go, you go get me an interview with Dane from anywhere from 95 up until to 2015, 2018, and you tell me one time he mentioned Daniel or Lou. I got 500 for you. Before before he did the, 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 the two honorable and all that other shit, just go at least four, four, three or four years before that. And you tell me where them niggas is at in his story. And then go to all his homeboy stories, the best out stories, and listen to their stories and tell them where, where he ran with them niggas and they was his OGs and all that other shit. Go go back and look. The footage don't lie, it's there. But let me get back to uh that they should call that nigga B instead of Beyonce, goddammit. Wait, this nigga be blocking. Yeah, that, I, I'm telling you that I, I really am upset with that because there were so many great people and opportunities that Dane was creating, and it, and and for him to uh and and like I say, I don't care what me and him went went through or go through. I'm a, a man about morals and principles. And that's some, that is some, some real fucked up shit that your own black niggas, your own black brothers that you come in this game with and y'all learn this thing that a, a dude like a Steve Stout, a un that came from the streets that was able to make millions and tens and hundreds of millions of dollars in this music shit and we all get out the streets and to have your own people know where you came from, especially Jay-Z today. Y'all hustled together. Y'all got money in the street together to make a collective effort to, to block a nigga out to get rid of him so y'all can get some more money. It's some whole ass nigga shit. Y'all niggas are some whole ass niggas. Jay-Z, Stout, all y'all niggas, that is some old sucker-ass nigga shit. Word is born, man. Y'all niggas fucked up a lot of nigga shit. In hindsight, 
That 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 greed right there, bro. Let that shit fall fall back on y'all niggas like a ton of bricks. A motherfucker that help y'all display. If you don't like how he they ain't talk, how he whatever he was doing, if he was stealing money, whatever, 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 man. But y'all should have thought about other people's families, other people's careers. Because if you cut the head off, the fucking body gonna fall. Shit is fucked up. Y'all sitting around blocking niggas. It's all right, though. God don't like ugly. Dude like me, as you can see, it didn't stop me. I keep fight, fighting. I reinvent myself, and I'm still relevant, despite y'all. But I, I, that, that's why I ain't never give up fighting. Because I know what the fuck y'all niggas did to me. And I don't care niggas get mad blue in the face about me talking about motherfuckers that fucking deliberately, collectively blocked us. The receipts is there. The receipts are there. Thank you, Un. I appreciate you for coming out and saying that. Because everybody that was attached to, to Dane we caught it, except for the ones that Jay recruited. Think about it. Look around. Fucking Bobby Dash. You tell me he couldn't get a job as a radio promoter for any label? And every station knew this nigga? Yo, man, y'all niggas, y'all did some super blocking, B. Y'all niggas... Got shades that could block out the sun from five feet away. Y'all some super blockers. Now this nigga Lenny S over there thinking he a, he's Jay-Z's uh, he's, he's Jay-Z's choke no joke. Now he over there taking pictures and, and video and all that shit for these niggas. Thought you ain't like being filmed, Jake. Thought you ain't like the camera. Now you got niggas over here doing, taking these fake ass pictures and shit. Y'all taking these fake ass poses and shit. But you ain't like pictures. You ain't like the camera on you. Yeah, all right. Shout out to Lenny S, little choke. All right. Sucks, Jay. You ain't want the cam on you, right? See all the moments you missed? All those moments you missed that you could have had captured to tell your story? Shouldn't have been insecure about your looks, nigga. You know? Oh, you wasn't a billionaire, so you wasn't cute then. You had to get your money up for you to get cute. Your boss get our wig wearing ass nigga. That's some fucked up shit y'all did, Jay. You are all an apology, man. All of us, even Dane, man. Y'all collectively did that shit, man. Wow. Your own fucking black brothers. Stabbed on in the back. Literally. Or got him stabbed. It's fucked up. It's all good, though. You had to do what you had to do, man. You made it, baby. You made it. You made it. We still proud for you. You know what I'm saying? You still got our help. I still help you. 
without me being the Lex Luthor, the Superman, or the Green Goblin, the Spider-Man, you definitely wouldn't be relevant right now. You ain't dropped the record that hit for nothing, and I don't know how long. You ain't got no movies out. All you doing is riding Beyonce coattail right now. Or or the coattail or the, or the artists that you recruit over there, the Cock Nation. Where everybody going to suck up. Some sucking shit you did, Jay. You and your man, the commissioner. Y'all did that to Pit Pat Riley. We was the New York Knicks. Finally about to get a chip. And here come the motherfucking divide and conquer. Steve Stout, your new name is Wedge. If y'all in the industry, when you see Steve Stout, y'all call him Wedge now. Because he's something that splits wood or rocks. All right? Y'all call Steve Stout Wedge now. That's his new name. Steve Stout name is Wedge because he split woods or rocks. All right? And you can look that up in the dictionary. All right? A wedge is something that split woods or rocks. You split the rock, and we suffered, brother. It's all good, though. It's all good. Thank you for the information, hon. Choke no joke. I holla at y'all tonight, 7 p.m. One love. Subscribe to the channel.